the 8S outcast out today. The RTR, the new one. I want to do a speed test. I have um, finally going to run on 8S. I didn't add anything. I just added these guards. And I added the 32 speed pinion in there. So, got my GNS all hooked up. And ready to rock. I'll give you the once over of the car. Just in case you haven't seen it yet. You know, most likely you've seen it. First 8S run, and I can't wait. Oh, this thing is a beast. The thing is, I can't do my test yet. But I don't want to wear I want to run this thing. But what I'm going to do, it's going to be basically an off-road test. Pretty good, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Knock knock battery and my name. Yeah, um, got it all put back in. I'm gonna check that little bash speed right there. Let me check that speed. It's like 37 miles an hour. This is like an off-road speed test. This full throttle right here not straight enough though. Yeah, this thing is pushing. All right, let me check that speed, even though I'm still bashed around, but I did hit full throttle for a couple seconds. That was 48 miles an hour. So this definitely go, it says 60 plus. I mean, I can believe it. And that was just on that little, you know, little, little crack speed pass.
I definitely got her to get some good 4S batteries. I didn't bring my temp gun or nothing. I'm at the switch location so I can get some real speed out of it. Check that. I mean, I had to turn off, but let me check that real quick. Yeah, that was 52 miles an hour. Not bad. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit that 60 mark. All right, let's go this way. This radio got pretty good range on it too. Yeah, that messed me up. That little pal messed me up right there. Let's try that again. I gotta come at a little angle. Come at the right angle. So that turning kind of reduces my speed, but I can't keep doing this. I'm gonna have to uh, recheck that speed. Yeah, I got 52 again. Uh, with this big rig, how I set up out here now, 52 is probably the best I can get with this this kind of setup out here. If I um, if I went to Simon's, I got more open flat fields, so I might go up there it's definitely not the end of the video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just mess with this grass real quick I know she got to be hot it look like I blew a tire look like the glue came off yup Yep, the glue <laughs> blew the phones right out. Ah. Uh oh. Part two coming up for this car. This thing is powerful. I gotta uh what I, I need to do, I need to um stiffen up that center so it don't bloom as much in the front. It would have been better off. The drive a shame. Well, I ain't find no weaknesses in the car yet, except for the, you know, I'm doing like that. That's about it. I'm at the Simons now. And, I mean, this is going downhill. Hold on, let me put it on 100%. I got them Gen Zace, two Gen Zaces, 800 milliamps, 100C. Not Gen Zace. Power Hobby. I'm so used to saying Gen Zace. Power Hobby's a good battery too, but got two Power Hobbies, 800 milliamps a piece, uh, 100C. Now, the unfair part, it's kind of going downhill, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a downhill one, and then I'm going to do an uphill one. Strictly uphill. Yeah, I got it. Definitely do something with that death fluid. See, I couldn't get up to full speed. I didn't do full speed. Oh! It's hard for me to do full speed on this thing, man. And I still got my nag. Alright, I'm going to check that real quick. 
Yeah, that was 52 miles an hour again. Uh, it's hard for me to full throttle this thing. Like, I can't get up the full throttle. Full throttle right now. I'm just messing around now because it's like I'm not going to get full throttle. I did do full throttle though. I did have full throttle for uh, about two seconds. So let me check that speed real quick. Look, the Woody bar is still spinning. The Woody wheels. That's like they got a motor in it. It was 54. I think that's as good as I'm going to get. 54. All right, I'm going to bash around up here. But I'll let y'all check this bash video I'm about to do in another video. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little epic bash. But I pretty much doubt it. But let's give it a shot. Yeah, another thing. The outcasts perform great. It's just the tire, be, uh, the tire wasn't glued down properly, so it came out. And not to mention, I need to tighten up my center diff. That's another problem. I knew that when I first ran it, I might put some plugs in there or a million, two million in the center to prevent that ballooning so much. This car is pretty good. That's the first problem I had with it. And that's a minor one. And another thing, I like to give a super thanks because I hit two, over 2,000 subscribers and I really appreciate it. You know, I didn't think I would hit 2,000, you know, no time soon, but I, everybody that, that comment and watch my channel, super thanks. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Chris. He's I'm trying to convince him to start a, a channel because he has some awesome rigs. I'm telling you, he... He's teaching me, he said he just started a hobby, but he seems like a vet. He He's on point with his cars. This channel's going to be fire. He, uh, he, do, he does upgrades all around, you know, to the, um, of course, the motor, tires. He put lights on it, carbon fiber wings. Things look nice. I got one of his uh, wings I got on my Typhon. That thing looks sick. I just haven't put it out yet because I um, want to get some tires. Once it looks that good, you definitely got to get some good looking durable tires also got want to give a shout out to rc discount superstore adam mark and hector give a shout out to um other channels that supported my channel channels that supported my channel you got addiction rc he's he's pretty good he's i love his channel he's a family channel he got his daughters driving the cars with him you know, I, I like stuff like that. Spare Time RC, he got the awesome channel. Give him a super thanks. You know, all these channels give you advice that you would have never thought of sometime. Spare Time, he's he's, he's a great channel. He's he, he building a track right now. His track is beautiful. Also, Urban RC, give him a shout out. He, he, he got a crawling track. His track is awesome. I wish I could do, take it to that level that them guys is taking it to. I, I don't have the room and I live in the city, so I can't really do that much for the hobby. But if I could, I would. Oh yeah, and the super duper thanks to Tiff, my wife, Tiff Pets Plus, she has a channel now. Definitely give her a shout out. She, if it wasn't for half of the stuff she did and RC Discount Superstore, uh, after this stuff wouldn't be happening all i gotta do now is just upgrade my rigs i know i've been working on a ramp for a while i made one it didn't work out too well if you notice i never put it up there never jumped it because it fell apart as soon as my first test it fell apart 
I tested it with the Forest Crichton and it survived the first one, but the second jump, it was destroyed. Yeah, these two cars right here, I'm about to do, a, um, no, they're different rigs, but I'm going to do that coming up next video. But everybody, thanks a lot. I appreciate the support. But as always, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.